Hey guys, it's Joe Carroll. Welcome to another episode of In The Mix. Today we're going to be talking about setting microphones on a Hammond B3 organ. Alright guys, let's talk about the B3 organ. So it, that's a, uh, an instrument, you've, you've seen it before, we'll show you a picture of it. The body of the organ, you know, the body of the instrument is out in the big room. But here in the piano booth, we have where the sound actually comes from, the Leslie cabinet. Um, we're gonna look inside here, you'll see there's this horn on top that spins. And that's where you get the, you know, the vibrato of tremolo effect. Um, and down at the bottom, you have the, this drum down here, and that's where you get the low frequency content. So generally you mic the top, uh, typically in stereo, and then you have a, a third mic on the bottom if you want that low end, you know, when they really dig down in on some kind of a, a fill or something like that, you, you have that. There's multiple ways to, to mic the Leslie cabinet, but I'm gonna show you my favorite, and that is um, in this position right here. I'm using the WA-87s, and the reason being, I don't want a microphone that's really overly bright in this application. I'm getting my high end, you know, um, information out of a track, acoustic guitars, you know, electric guitars, tambourines, cymbal, drums, you know, cymbals and things like that. So the, the, the organ, I really want to live more in mid-range land. And so I want a mic, something like this, that's a little bit mid-forward. So the WA-87 and the WA-47, you know, the Junior, are kind of my two favorite mics in the Warm Audio um, family for this application. So my spacing is equal distance between the, uh, the horn here, right in the middle and it's at a 90 degree angle. So the cool thing, what this does, first of all, the, the, the front side of the cabinet, you know, which is all trimmed in wood, um, is out of the way. So I have nothing between the horns and the microphone to adjust the frequency response or anything like that. So that's issue number one. Number two is that what this does, when the, the sound of the horn is hitting this speaker, uh, I'm sorry, this microphone, uh, this microphone is at its null point, and vice versa, when the, spe when the speaker is hitting this, microphone this one is at the null point so as the b3 is coming up to speed you know as the leslie really starts kicking in you get a stereo bouncing effect which i really really like so that's that's why i do this and i will also say these these are capable of getting extremely loud so what i'm doing i'm using um they're in cardioid and the pad is engaged so this is my you know kind of go-to position Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed today's show. If you would, do me a favor, follow Warm Audio on their social media pages like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, for all the current you know, news about our program. As well, if you would, follow me on my Instagram and Facebook at In The Mix with Joe Carroll. I'm gonna give extra content and stuff that I hope you guys will enjoy. Okay, now for El Sarah singing Beautiful Girl. The many sides of you And the things I still don't know yet There's a world undiscovered And I may never know the half of it Walk
much of anything Worth much of anything As much as your soul So why waste your time Covering up the gold I think we both Good.